the premier U.S. fighter plane took decades to come to fruition. The F-35, another fifth-generation fighter, didn't fare any better. Yet now, in the great race for the sixth-generation fighter, it seems we might be in for a surprise. Little nuggets of information are gradually being disclosed. And it appears that the first sixth-generation fighter jet in the world will be one procured by the U.S. Air Force, and it may reach initial service before the end of this decade. By all accounts, it's going to be a revolutionary fighter design, changing the way we perceive jet fighters. This video will discuss what we know about this fighter and compare it to the U.S., Navy's future fighter offering. Next-generation fighters are likely going to be crucial, and Conflict of Nations is again sponsoring this video, simulating future global conflicts. You can try it yourself and see how it would unfold. Conflict of Nations is a free online PvP strategy game where you choose a real country, lead it, and try to conquer the world while competing against up to 127 other real players. The matches are played in real time. You can form alliances with other players and engage in massive battles to take over the world. I love the pacing, it's definitely not too frantic. I manage my nation slowly, give meticulous orders to my military, and then watch my strategies unfold. Some games can take weeks to complete. Best of all, Vinca viewers will get an exclusive gift click on the link in the description, and you'll get 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. Back to our video. Let's start with the juicy bits first. What have various U.S. Air Force officials recently said about their sixth generation fighter, or NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Project? It will be a family of aircraft. A manned aircraft will form the core of the overall system, but there will be several different aircraft designs overall. And in a mission, a handful of autonomous drones will accompany the manned plane in formation up to five, according to Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall. In June, Air Force Chief of Staff Charles Brown said that the NGAD will also have some air-to-ground capability, though that suggests its primary role will still be air superiority. He also mentioned that the Air Force had never developed a fighter with the ranges needed for the Pacific Theater, but NGAD will be the first such design. This seems to support the idea that the aircraft will be fairly large. Exactly how large is unknown, but if it needs a combat radius of several thousand miles, the manned portion of NGAD could weigh at least 50 tons. It could even be bigger, essentially a bomber-sized plane. While unmanned aircraft have historically been small, the unmanned aircraft in the NGAD family are expected to be quite large, possibly even larger than the F-35 to carry weapons and systems for long-range missions. Will all NGAD planes be stealthy? Yes, stealth remains a requirement. People citing various sources in the aviation industry claim that NGAD will be an order of magnitude more stealthy than today's F-35 and F-22. Some even give specific estimates, saying NGAD's radar cross-section RCS is expected to be comparable to a BB pellet, which means a metal ball with a diameter of less than 5 mm. Famously, the F-22's RCS was once claimed to be marble-sized. Furthermore, NGAD is supposed to be stealthy in a wide range of radar bands, not just optimized against fire control bands. In this sense, it might be closer to the B-2 bomber's stealth design. Achieving this won't be as difficult if the plane is indeed very large, but at the same time, stealth alone is no longer enough. Advances in computing and more sensitive radar components have made modern radars extremely powerful. The US. Air Force General Mark Kelly recently said that close-in electronic jamming will be required even for stealth aircraft at certain ranges. Indeed, back in the mid-2010s, Air Force officials mentioned that the sixth-generation fighter might need an escort plane dedicated to jamming. It's looking more likely that a typical NGAD fighter formation will look like this a single large, possibly two-seat aircraft think of other things this plane might carry. It could feature long wavelength radars, and its weapons could be a mix of tiny self-defense missiles, very long-range missiles, or even laser weapons for protection against enemy missiles.